Today, we're gonna do an unboxing of the Asus VivoBook S15. Check it out. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and we did an, un an unboxing uh, once before. We did the uh, Joby Gorillapod and today we're actually gonna be doing a new laptop that we just got in here and it is the Asus VivoBook. I know honestly very little about this thing so we're gonna open up the box and kind of take a look at the first impressions. All right. So as you can see here, if we look on the side, we've got uh, the, uh, it's a Core i5 Intel 8250U with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. And then of course, eight gigs of DDR4 memory. Um, it's got the USB 3.1, USB 3.0, and a USB 2.0, uh, two of those. And of course, it's gonna be running the Windows 10 64 bit. So from the little bit of research that I've done on these particular laptops is, they're a really good like budget to performance ratio. They've got a really elegant design on them. So like I said, Let's go ahead and crack it open and uh, see what we got. If I can be smarter than the box, it just falls. So first look right there. It's got a nice sleeve, a nice little box. Ooh, that's that's. There's not much weight to that. That's nice. Of course, we've got the manuals. Again, nobody reads those. And uh, so go ahead and slide that over to the side and take a look what's in the actual box itself. Um, of course, a nice lightweight power charger, and it uh, doesn't look like that comes apart or anything. Nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing, nothing at all, nothing, nothing, okay. Just nothing else, that's all, that's all it comes with. I was actually honestly kind of disappointed. I, I, I thought there was gonna be a little more to that. So I guess it makes sense though. We've got the charger, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull this thing out. So for those that are wondering, this is the gunmetal color. So it looks like we've got uh, the USB 2.0 is on the left side here. And it looks like we have also got a, looks like a micro SD card reader, which is kind of, I don't know, if you're gonna be using this for any type of like video creation or thing like that, that can be kind of a nuisance because you can see right there, we've got the two USBs and then uh, yeah, we've got the micro SD, but most, most cameras still run off of the standard SD card. So you may wanna carry an adapter around for that. And then of course you've got the USB uh, 3.0, the USB 3.0 or USB-C and everything right there on the right hand side of the unit. So again, let's Let's go ahead and open it up and take a first glance. Ooh, nice. Actually, we're gonna keep that. We probably wanna keep that. Like I said, thin and light, ergo life hinge and nano display. Yeah, those, the uh, the bezels on this thing is really nice and uh, they've incorporated the webcam really well. I love the keyboard style. It looks very heavy duty. Kind of give you guys an idea. This looks like right there. I like it. And like I said, that's, the battery is definitely in there because it doesn't have a removable battery like old laptops. And it's got, it's really, really lightweight. Uh, one of the coolest features, which might be a little hard to see as well, but as you open Open the lid it kind of it props up the back since there wasn't much in the box other than the power cable and some sleeves to protect the laptop we're to go in I'm gonna set up the initial profile since it does ship with Windows 10 I'll need to set that up and then we'll take a look at the actual specs of the computer but before we do that I wanted to show you guys just a kind of a quick comparison I do have a MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch right here next to me I want to kind of show you guys a comparison of the size of them together. Like this thing is a very lightweight, um, and so you can definitely see that there's some size difference. I mean, if we put this on top, we've got, might be a little bit hard to see again, but you can see that overall, like the MacBook Pro 13 inch is very small, but this, this Asus is definitely like, it seems like a 15 inch screen, but in like a 14 inch body. So it's got a really nice like screen to body ratio. So let's jump into the computer and take a look. First thing you're gonna notice, it is a very pretty display and it has very thin bezels. But if we go on into the display properties, you will notice that it is a 1920 by 1080 screen, giving us plenty of resolution for us to open up our windows and manage them. Another great thing about this resolution, aside from it being a full HD, is the colors and also the viewing angle for when you're trying to watch those late night YouTube videos. The next thing that I noticed on this laptop is the keyboard. It has a solid construction design with a natural feeling, but also doesn't compromise on a tactile response. And of course, we can't forget that the keyboard is also backlit with three different brightness modes as well as an off mode, making this keyboard very easy to use even if you're in a dark environment. Another cool feature about this laptop that I really liked was the hinge system. As soon as you open up the display when it's on a flat surface, it will lift up the back end of the laptop, giving you a more ergonomic feel to the keyboard. Overall, the first impressions are great. The Asus VivoBook S15 is a powerful laptop with a great backlit keyboard, beautiful full 
full HD display and a lightweight design paired with a great battery life giving you about 7 to 8 hours of moderate use. Making this laptop a great laptop for day to day use, running in at right around $600. And that wraps up today's video bringing us into our question of the day. If you're an S15 user, how do you like it? What are your favorite features? If you're not, what other laptop do you like? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video. If you found this video useful or informative, be sure to click the thumbs up button on it, give it a like and a share, and be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of how to's, a lot of tutorials. I'll go ahead and link a couple over there on the right hand side of your screen, as well as don't forget to hit the subscribe. You can do that by clicking the subscribe boop, right over there. And of course, enable the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.